Harald is basically yeah, the brain and the face of MCPDT as a 3GPP standard and we could win him for that, uh, yeah, for that discussions. This is uh, Harald and uh, KW. Uh, we met here uh, together on PMR Expo 2018. Today uh, we are in Las Vegas uh, for IWCE. The last time we had the pleasure to meet uh, Harald, it was in Cologne for PMR Expo. And the last time we spoke basically about what is MCPDT. And today uh, we want to see, okay, uh, which features are really implemented in the standard and what is important regarding that. So Harald, welcome. I'm very happy to see you here. And yeah, please tell us what are the main important features for MCPDT? There are many features in MCPDT. It started in release 13 and it was enhanced in release 14 and 15 and will be further uh, enhanced. Um, but the main features, the most important features is group communication so that you can, one person can talk to many other person. Uh, private communication, that's a point-to-point -point communication. You have emergency call, so if something is happening and you need quick help, you can press the emergency button and you trigger a special emergency call, which has a very high priority and goes through the whole network without any uh, delay. Uh, also very important is the dynamic group management, so you can form new groups, you can reconfigure your groups, you can add new uh, users to the group or remove users from the group. And also very important is uh, the, the whole security, authentication, encryption feature. Perfect. And how is it with uh, localization? Is it also part of the uh, standard? It's included in the standard. It's one of the core services that you can also send location information from the user or to between users to the other users to the control room. Okay. So basically we can say all uh, voice communication and um, localization and encryption is totally defined by the standard that we can follow accordingly as a, a company who is developing um, yeah, for the 3GPP MCPDT standard. Exactly, everything is in the standard and that's the important thing, that's a standardized solution, standard-based solution, so it ensures that it's interoperable with all the other implementations. Okay, great. Thank you very much, it was good to know and uh, we are looking to see Harald very, very soon in the next uh, session and discuss with him about MC data and MC video. See you soon, somewhere else in the world.